Hello everyone, I'm Hyperdrive XA eh? and welcome back to The Walking Dead, Season 1. Alright, so last episode we got ambushed by a couple of bandits that are wielding bows and arrows. Well, fortunately we only got uh, we only got a mark uh, who's, in, who's injured. And even more fortunate that we didn't get hit in the knee. <laughs> so, if you guys haven't seen that last episode yet, you should check it out on the, on the description box below or you can just click on the upper right hand corner of the video and look it up from there. So, without further ado, let's continue. Before we go to the bandit camp, I said, um, I guess we should just take a look at, uh, we should just check on Clementine. We need to go, we need to do our regular schedule. So yeah. Oh, look at this retarded little shit. Alright, let's just talk to Clementine for a bit here. Hey Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Hell yeah. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Yeah, get out of here. Alrighty then. <laughs> We're having fun, right? How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Yeah, lucky out there. It'll have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be yeah. careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I you good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Not worry, them. I... Mark only had uh, it's only a flash wound for Mark, and I'll make sure to put a bullet in one of those assholes' heads pretty soon. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah, let's just make some assurance here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day. Things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. All right, let's talk to Kenny here for a second. Where are you going, Lee? Oh. Hey. Hey, Lee. How's it going with the St. John's? Good. I was talking to Andy earlier and offered our group's assistance on the dead. I don't think they have much to protect them besides the fence, though he seemed pretty appreciative. Great. Sounds like they're starting to accept us. Definitely. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Palm sweaty? Mom's spaghetti? They've got food here. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? You want the whole banquet? <laughs> well, that's... That's pretty reasonable. I mean, you haven't been eating... We haven't been eating for several days. Or months or so. Maybe not good. Not maybe. Not months, maybe. Maybe just a few days. I guess uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Sure I am. Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? Well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. Oh, that's good. Pass, Kenny. Lots You're gonna bring that up now? Yeah, right. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. Sounds like they're pretty amped up about it. This might be a good way to earn their trust. Good idea. Well, it's your son's fault anyway. 
<laughs> All right. Mm, yeah, we're gonna let's talk to let's talk to them for a bit. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Hmm. Maybe not now. We'll go in a few minutes. We just need to check on a few things before we head out. Sir, sure, that's understandable. Talk things over with your group. Just come find us when you're ready. I'll do that. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to the other people. Check back here. Little Lily and uh Larry. As much as it as much as it pains me to do it. I need to do it. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Oh yeah, that the cow. Well, I hope um Kaja uh can help out and in the in the on the cow thing. Maybe. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Yeah. <laughs> take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Well, neither do you. Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. Yeah, I guess Lily's on the more practical side and um, Kenny's on the more the emotional part of the spectrum. Hey. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Could have been worse. Maybe, maybe the fresh air will clear your ba your bastard of a lad's um, mind a little bit. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So he's the asshole. Mm. Yeah, just go with the third one. Put up with it. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Alright. I guess I can accept the sentimentality of the both of you. But that's just gonna be it. For now. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Too bad for you, Larry. 
the but putting my nose into anyone to everyone's business is kind of my job for now. So yeah, you're gonna have to put up with it. All right, I think we've talked with everyone here, except for the ones back on the farmhouse. So yeah, let's just let's go to the bandit camp. Let's see if we can what we can find here, um, there. Hey, Lee. Change your mind about going out to track down them bandits? All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Don't worry about that, Sam. Lucky. <laughs> Clem. <laughs> Well, at least, I guess luck's the only thing Lee has for now. Not much for strength or in, maybe a little bit of intelligence. I mean, he's a teacher, right? See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. A clue. <laughs> Here. Oh shit, you found it? All right, let's see what we have here. Pretty much empty. Where could have they gone? Maybe they left the uh, whole place out. You see anybody? Hmm. Yeah, just stay on on your guard. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Yeah, can be too cocky in these situations. Nothing, huh? Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Alright. Let's see what we got. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. How, uh, how can you tell, Lee? I mean, I can't. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Yeah, could have been useful with some gas in it. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. And are there any more? Nothing, I guess. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. All right, let's take a look at some of these as well. Let's see what's inside. Just water. Fuck. Well, hope you got some instant noodles there. I could go for some right now. <laughs> Look, I don't need that. All right, let's check this one. Nothing. What about this one? 
That's not nothing, right? Empty. Oh, what do we have here? A tape recorder? Oh, a camera. Does it doesn't look like a camera. A video camera. Looks like a very, very, Let me see that. very, very. Battery's dead though. Shit. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. All right. Dan's suspicious behavior beside. I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Mm. We got ratted out by by our gun handling skills. But yeah, then suspicious behavior aside, the camera looks looks like looks a lot like, yeah. The camera looks a lot like more a lot more like a um very old MP3 player. Looks like they expected to be here a while. All right, let's let's check the tent. It's gotta save the best for for last. All right. Oh, that could have been. Could it have been good? Jesus, there's a kid mixed up in this. Was more like. Oh man. Looks like the little girl didn't make it, huh? Wait, is that what I think it is? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Don't fucking move. Oh boy. Here we go. Anytime now. Just loading them set. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, All right. It's not safe so up she, here in the woods. she got crazy. You gotta come back to the dairy. Pretty quick. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her! So what if I did? You stole her from me. What are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, Ooh. right through. Spin that would be pretty. That then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. Oh. That shot her up. Shot her up real good. God damn it. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Could have, uh, could have used more restraint. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. 
So, that's it. We going back? And that's fucked up, Dan. Around, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. I guess that's the only thing useful here now. Come on. Still, there's some pretty fishy shit going on here. I mean, you you've heard the woman. There's been something going on. I guess. Sun's going down. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. I mean, shooting, sh shooting her in the shoulders is one thing. Sh shooting that woman in the head was quite uncalled this isn't for. What Terry would have wanted. Terry. My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, uh, there we go again. I'll do it myself. When I get they can stop fighting. What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Well, go have a look around. in his don't defense, Leah's already. Be ready before you know. Leah's already has a shit. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. What I, what I was saying is, Lee has his um, share with, with violence. I mean, before we even got this playthrough started. What's that look again? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, if I started. My, if I if I had started this channel with this game, I wouldn't have thought anything else. But I started with Nekopara, so <laughs> that look might have meant something else. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. I'm so sorry about this. All right, let's let's just check up on this fucker. Fucked up, Dan. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. You really like that gun? You really like that gun. What's not to like? Yeah, just kind of creepy. But I'm not gonna. Not much, I guess. Exactly. Well, I said I'm gonna, I said I'm gonna go with the safe answer, but he got a little suspicious there. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too, or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. You see, the way he says that, it's kind of creepy. Okay. I think we should check up on Lily here. Wait. We can get some stuff from this soul box. Let's see what we can get. 
multi tool. So Let's it's this for a second. so it's more of a Swiss Army knife in shape of a flyers, I guess. All right, let's go through here, check up on the mom and on the dad and daughter um, duo, and then we go to the barn. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? Every we're just gonna leave the shooting out of this. We found some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Jesus. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Well, this is just overprotective of his family. You can't really blame him. Well, you have your own family here. But Kenny thinks Kenny takes things a bit too far, I guess. But he's just doing it for the sake of his family. You can't you can't really blame him for it. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, that's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. You said that the last time. Alright, let's check things at the barn. Hopefully we don't get too sleazy over here. No, that's just me. God damn it. Should stop thinking about that. Shit! Yeah, the cow not the cow's not looking too it's okay, good. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. Or is she? It's okay. Go ahead. Don't worry, she won't bite. Oh. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. It's a yes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much a yes. She tried to lick it. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Yeah, I should give her the hat. That, that bitch. As crazy as she is, taking the hat is too far. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Hmm. Someday. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. <laughs> That's that can be taken out of context. <laughs> You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. <laughs> oh god, I'm I've been taking some pretty fucked up shit right now. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like shit, right? <laughs> oh shit! No! Hey, 
Don't you start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> the thing, the choices that we made <laughs> is hitting us pretty hard in the ass right now. <laughs> I shouldn't have thought of that word. <laughs> hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think uh we might eat? <laughs> Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. <laughs> that retarded look in his face. <laughs> Oh boy. Second. <laughs> so I still can't get over that <laughs> that shit. <laughs> we met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh yeah, he uh he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Hmm, that's not really a pretty good answer, Andy. Not much, just a whole bunch of hay. Let's check the whole place out. Nothing. Alright. The other one's back here. Man, the barn's pretty much a waste now, since there, there's only one cow. Maybe we're maybe almost two. Another salt deck right here. Maybe this is where that cow originally originally was. Alright. This one. Alright, some boxes. Empty. Weird. Should be stacking up box like boxes like that. Okay. Some clothes. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Hey, wait a minute. Is, is that an IV? Um, you know, the one that they use in the hospital. To to hold up dextrose or blood or something like that. Why are they keeping this stuff? Okay, well, saving the best for la for last here. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff. And Something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Kachina, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Okay. So we're, we're gonna do some breaking. Breakins now. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. <laughs> why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think. <laughs> Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. It's being racist to him. What? See those screws? 
Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. What's that you supposed know, to mean? Bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. No, not the bandits. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. All right, Kenny. You keep that guy busy and we'll... Let's see what we can do about this door. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. All right, did you? All right, let's just go back. Oh, here we go. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Hmm. Alright. I'll figure a way out. Oh, here we go. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, uh. just fine. Plus, I had my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. All right, I think we had enough um, excitement for today. We're just gonna pick that lock in the next episode. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed it. So yeah. As and um, anyways, I'll see you in the next one. This is Hyper Drive XA signing off.